Hi friends, followers and subscribers. Now we are gonna have a trip again, a weekend trip, a day trip, which is we are gonna visit a 13th century castle here in Alabama. And I know most of you didn't know that, that there's like that exist here, but we don't even know as well till just this week and we are excited to see it. It's like, it's like you feel like you're in Europe. So this is gonna be what are we gonna expect to see? Yes, you see it right. So it's kind of like wow, right? It's so amazing. So we are excited to see that. And actually, it's the shrine of the Blessed Sacrament of Lady of the Angels Monastery. It's a church. So um, it's a Catholic church, actually, and that's why I'm kind of uh, wrapped around right now, and uh, <laughs> I have a wearing pants and jacket because they have a dress code there, you know. So it should be like below the knee. Um, if you wear a skirt and pants, um, you know, your shoulders should be covered. So me and my husband are gonna, <laughs> as are on our way now there. It's like you're in another country. It's a long drive with just this one fence, white fence like this. They really made their church very excluded. Hidden away in the countryside of northern Alabama, the Shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament is a peaceful place of spiritual renewal and prayer. The Shrine, visited by thousands each year, is also home to Our Lady of the Angels Monastery, where the poor clares of perpetual adoration live a life consecrated to God. In 1995, while traveling to Colombia to seek assistance for EWTN's Spanish programs, Mother Angelica attended Mass at the Sanctuary of the Divine Child Jesus in Bogota and was inspired to build a shrine honoring the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. Five anonymous benefactors contributed to the purchase of 400 acre, former soybean farm located in Hansville, Alabama, and to construction, cost, and materials. The monastery was consecrated in December 1999. Blessed Sacrament. We're here guys. Pretty entrance. It is free to go in. It is open from 8 to 4 p.m. Look at that. Amazing. The shrine which features a most gilt interior is a destination in itself draws as, as wow. many as 80,000 tourists annually according to Alabama.com article by Greg Garrison. The complex includes the main church, also a 13th century design, a convent and monastery, a replica of the Lourdes Grotto, a life-size nativity scene, a crypt where Mother Angelica the is interred, the Pope the John Paul II Eucharist Center and Castle San Miguel. Like in the 13th century, it's pretty. Very cool. I like that. It's cool, right? So you can go for both sides, guys. So you can visit um, both buildings. The destination will be on the right. Hey guys, we're we're here. So excited to tour. See guys, they even have a wheelchair here. So I mean, if you're like a handicap or you can't you can't walk, um, they provide it here. So it's really um, this place is really good for for everybody. Oh, wow. That's a 
Look at that guys, castle feel, right? It's so amazing. I want to have a gift shop. Here. Yeah, they do have a gift shop. I yeah. definitely want to go there. Yeah. Look at that guys, it is so pretty, right? I mean, you feel like you're in Europe. Castle San Miguel. In 2001, Mother Angelica ordered the construction of Castle San Miguel to serve as a nun gift shop and as a conference center. Castle San Miguel features 40 foot tall turrets and stone walls on the outside. Inside is already adorned with nine full size suits of armor, most made in Spain, including a replica of the armor worn by Richard the Lion Hearted. King of England from 1189 to 1199 AD. A few other important relics can be seen in the castle. An Italian wood craving of Michael the Archangel, medieval manuscripts, marble floor, vaulted wooden ceilings and tables made from 600 years old doors. Inside the El Nino gift shop, the nuns sell various religious items and gifts from books to coffee mugs to rosaries, all proceed to benefit the Sisters of the Poor Clares of Perpetual Adoration. It is a big gift shop, guys, and surely you will enjoy shopping around here. They even have jewelries, which is real silver and gold. Pretty crosses, the chalice, the chalice, the cross. It's pretty.
After the gift shop, we went to St. Michael Hall. It's still like a chapel where you can see some nice relics here. Look at the chair, Gothic style. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. I guess they just designed um, designed it according, you know, to the medieval maybe. So I like it too. It's so pretty here, guys. You need to come see this place. This is their dining area, guys. Even here, they have nights. Way now to the church. This is inspired by the great Franciscan monasteries and churches of Italy, saw that the Romanesque Gothic architecture and breathtaking art facilitated prayer and worship. This is the main plaza at the Shrine of the Look Most the Blessed church, Sacrament. Guys, so A statue of Mother Angelica's version of the Divine Child is prominently displayed in the plaza square. Its foundress, Mother Mary Angelica of the Annunciation, resided at the cloistered monastery with her nuns until her death in 2016. On our way now to the main church to see the amazing altar, which the exterior is characteristic Romanesque but incorporates pointed arches and other Gothic elements. Mother Angelica sought to model the shrine on the 13th century Italian architecture with its piazza or plaza square, colonnade, esplanade, and various cosmetesque designs. She also wanted the building to reflect materials from all over the world. The ceramic tiles came from South America. The bronze door depicting the seven joys and seven sorrows of Mary were designed and crafted in Spain. The floors, columns, and pillars are made of marble. The rare and red jasper marble is from Turkey. The wood for the pews, doors, and confessionals is cedar imported from Paraguay. Spanish workers came to build the doors. The stained glass windows were imported from Munich, Germany. The stations of the cross inside are hand carved. Now we are on our way to the Shroud of Turin and where Mother Angelica was laid to rest. This is the exact replica of Shroud of Turin. And this is where Mother Angelica was laid to rest and the other nuns. No, it doesn't stop. In the other, the opposite side of the castle so we are heading to the grotto area it's a pretty garden like a, you stop by each station and you pray oh, yeah, yeah so you start from here one and then turn around and then the last one is the 12 Like we have like that in Philippines, some um, processions and each station, like you go to, you know, they put a 
first station, 12 stations, and that's your positions. And, you know, after that, you say your desire and your wish. Mom, at least I have air conditioning in the prayer station. <laughs> and this is a short station here. Very short. Like... In my country, like it's per precision, it's like how many miles you need. To, you will walk five. Really? You're like the miles and all. It's like a sac sacrifice, you know. That's your sacrifice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, which We're burning, guys, because it's so hot. But um, yeah, plus I'm wearing this jacket here to cover myself. And uh, yep. And look at look at Tim's back. It's so sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> But um, we're on our way now to the grotto area. Um, it's like a, um, a Mary and uh, like a, a little bit chapel. You can say a prayer also. But it's a pretty, pretty place. I mean, for sure, when you get here in other time, like maybe cooler, like spring, fall, something like that, or maybe winter, I mean, you're, you're good. It's just that now it's so hot and plus you need to cover up because um, it's not, you know, for the dress code thing. All right. The John Paul II Eucharistic Center. So guys, in this area, it's uh, available for tours and um, you know, Friday to Saturday. It's registration only, so you cannot just come here and do yourself. All right, guys, we're still looking for the grotto area. Um, it's the further, the farthest um, station or area that we will gonna visit if you come here. So just prepare with your walking shoes. Okay, so here it is there. <laughs> it's just around the corner, but still it's a walk. Here, there's a parking lot in this area. Okay, but us, we, we don't wanna cheat. We try to be healthy and we try to be good, to work out. So that's why we're, we walk. And oh, then, wow. <laughs> and, then <laughs> and then we're, we're, <laughs> Showering from our sweat. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we walk all the way here for our health, not because we, we're just dumb and don't know that we need to, we can park closer. So, <laughs> it's so cool. I like the, the stone. Oh, it's nice here. There's like a river. If you want to come here and just be alone and meditate and listen to the water, it's really nice. This is the exact replica of the Lourdes Grotto in France. Wow, look oh, at this, wow. guys. This stone is a piece of the actual grotto rock of Lourdes, France, where the Blessed Virgin Mary identified herself as the Immaculate Conception while appearing to St. Bernadette in 1858. This rock, guys. Amazing. Yay, we're heading back to our car now, guys. <laughs> We're excited to get back to our car and feel the air condition. So <laughs> We're back in our car. Look at my sweat and my makeup is falling. <laughs> We're like fried turkey already, guys. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Air condition is the best invented so far. 
<laughs> but anyway, here it is. We enjoyed it so much and it's an amazing tour. I mean, it's a self tour, guys. I mean, the only place that you need a reservation for tour is the, um, the John Paul II, like a chapel thing. Um, I don't know really what's in there. I'll have to check it out. What's in Google, uh, what's in their website? But it's it's by reservation and it's limited slot only because you know the COVID thing. But we really suggest you go here. It's so amazing. It's 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 not just a typical Catholic church. They have a lot of stuff going on and things to explore and see. Especially the castle, the the 13th century medieval castle, which is the replica. Okay, so it's it's really. Um, really really good and that's their souvenir shop and their um, cafeteria so um, yeah so guys please 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 come and I'm gonna post some pictures also on Instagram and also in my Facebook page um, come just just come and see it and also I'm gonna post some on TikTok and yeah so please uh, see this place it's for free it's free guys the only time you pay is when you go to the gift shop and buy something for yourself as a souvenir okay thanks for watching guys and please don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram tiktok and also facebook so thank you so much for staying with me and watching my uh watching our adventure okay god bless guys thank you